Okay, I'm going to talk about a single algorithm that can be used to solve the whole Rubik's Cube. It's called a commutator. And first and foremost, if I talk about sides, this is the up face, this is the right face, this is the left face, front face, back face, and the down face. So what we have here is I'm going to move the right face and the up face and I'm going to move them in the order right face, right face, clockwise, a quarter turn, up face, a quarter turn, uh, clockwise again, anti-clockwise on the right face, and anti-clockwise. So if I do that again, clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise, clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise. Now I've just done that algorithm three times in a row. And if we have a look at the cube, after three iterations of that algorithm, all the edges are correct. They're in the correct locations. They're all solved. The only thing that has changed are these two corners and these two corners. Everything else is in the correct place. And if you look carefully, you'll see that these two corners are both orange-green, which means they belong in this column here. And these two corners are both yellow-blue, which means they belong here. However, the difference is that this one belongs here and this one belongs here. So after three iterations of the same thing, they've swapped and left all the corners, all the edges, all right. If I continue the algorithm, clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise, after six iterations, the cube returns to its original state. So what we have here is we have an algorithm that after three iterations, all the corners, all the edges will return to the same position. And after six iterations, all the corners will return to the same situation. Now, this algorithm, obviously you can do it forwards. And if you do it backwards, which is, I'll do that one more time, which is clockwise, still clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise, but you start with a U face. then that's the same as doing the algorithm five times forwards. So one, two, three, four, five. You'll end up with this situation. Six. Back and you'll end up with this situation. So it's it, so forward and backwards, it's the same algorithm. It's just faster to do it backwards if you can. Now the other side of the coin is that you can do it in both right-handed form and left-handed form. Now with left-handed form, it's um, anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise, clockwise, clockwise. So it'll be anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise, clockwise, clockwise. And the, and it's still, that's forward and backwards. So we've got, if you go from the up face, start with the up face to go backwards, anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise, clockwise, clockwise. And it works the same way. So after three iterations, all the edges are in the right places corners, these two corners have swapped, one, two, three, and we're back. Now, if you let's break it down and have a look at first off what the edges are doing. So f for this, we're going to look at just this green-orange edge. We'll do the algorithm once, and the green-orange edge appears here. We do it again. The green-orange edge is now here, and we know that after the third iteration, it's going to be back here. Let's do that now. It's back here. So it's gone from here to here to there and back again. So this is the cycle it does each time we do the algorithm from there to there to there. And likewise, backwards, it goes from there to there to there and back again. So that's what an edge does. Note that the edge itself doesn't twist at all. So there's no way of getting this edge into this position with the orange on the front face and the green on the right face. Now, let's look at the corners. So we'll start off with this corner here. 
this corner is the green orange yellow corner we do the algorithm once and it ends up down here we do it again and it's back here now we know that on the third iteration it's going to end up at the bottom again now if we now let's pay attention to the yellow face of this so we do it and the yellow face moves up this way it stays on this side so the yellow face if we watch it's sort of going clockwise if you see what I mean so the yellow face starts up up at the top then it ends on the, starts on this side then it's down then it's front and finally it's up so it rotates around with each iteration so that means it goes through all permutations because there's six positions and there's only three places that this, this can be actually it goes through all positions um, for that corner so it doesn't it, unlike an edge which can't be flipped around using this algorithm this one uh, the corner can be flipped around it, you just repeat it enough times so that's the reason why we need a left-handed version and a right-handed version because by using a left-handed version of this algorithm we can flip an edge so that's the algorithm it's called uh, a bunch of things, it's a basic commutator um, it's called the, the 60 move because he has after six iterations you're back to the same position and you'll find it all over the internet and a lot of, of bigger algorithms are based on a simple commutator like this now let's see how to use it <laughs>